Hello there, my Pisces Collective. I hope you're having a wonderful day. You are accomplishing a goal, Pisces. Celebratory energy for you. But someone is definitely watching. Not in a good energy. Mm. Be mindful of who or what comes toward you. You know, the Knight of Pentacles, slowest fucking uh, card in the deck, right? Be mindful of that. So some of you, don't don't be overly generous right now. You need to wait. You need to wait. You're in a good manifesting energy. I like that, so stay happy, stay positive. Pisces, your energy has really been coming up that. I like that for you. I like that for you, Pisces. So what's up here, Pisces? Eight of Wands, Two of Swords. Mm, trust your gut, your guidance. Someone's going to try to come in and sell you a dream, sell you something, or try to take from you in some way, shape, or form, uh, Pisces. So just don't allow that energy into your life. They don't really plan on giving anything. Uh, if this is a work opportunity, they show up. They only have like one prototype. Uh, whatever this is, it's like a, be mindful of the salesperson mentality. Right? There you are, Pisces. Hierophant energy here. Nine of Pentacles. Oh my goodness, Pisces. Uh, Pisces. <laughs> Be mindful of the energies you promote around you. Uh, this feels uh, work-related. If it's life-related, this is just the opportunities that show up or the opportunists that show up. Oh, Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Yeah, look at this. Look at this, Pisces. Who shows up? This is who shows up when the, the will of fortune is shining on your behalf. This person doesn't need a seat at your table. They know that. You're not, whatever this energy is, Pisces, you're not given to it. There's definitely a change up in energy. Um, so you probably severed a very toxic connection or you're severing toxic connections. Uh, work, love, and life. You kind of seen what the hell was up. It's like a salesperson energy around you. Someone has an idea to sell you. Someone has something they want to sell you. But the thing is, they can't pony up anything that's actually worth it. So be mindful of who or what you invest in. Rather, like, emotionally, physically. Six of Wands, the Chariot, the Ten of Pentacles, with the Seven of Cups. Ooh, seven of cups, the nine of so you done ghosted somebody. You done you done went rogue. You're like focusing on you. So this manipulation energy. If this was someone close to you, they don't know how to get to you. Cause you're not yeah. the masks are off for you, Pisces. You're you're seeing things clearly now. Cause look, there you are, that nine of cups. The two of cups oh Lord have mercy. Pisces, be mindful of people wanting to come in new relationships or partnerships. Uh, mm. Oh, that Knight of Pentacles energy. Someone's Someone around you has their hand out or, or is looking for a handout, Pisces. Uh, they might not show up that way, but that's sort of the connection they want at the end. So definitely, Pisces, some y'all, stay fucking single for a hot minute. Someone comes in a little too quick, a little too perfect, a little too... It's a fertile energy around you, Pisces, so definitely be mindful of your family planning. Uh, some of you, fuck, fuck relationships right now. You need to be single for a hot minute. Travel on your own, do some things on your own, spend some time and money on yourself. You got something somebody else wants. They're trying to figure out how the fuck they can get it, Pisces. Because you're this boss-ass emperor energy. Pisces, for some of you, I do feel like this is a person wanting to come in really quick with a relationship or partnership. 
Someone could be seeing wedding bells. So you're like a husband wifey material or someone's looking at you as such. But this person does not need to sit at your table. This person does not need to sit at your table because all they would bring is this fucking drama right here. This is karmic energy. So, uh, Pisces, you've been here before. You've been down this road before. I don't feel like it's a comeback around energy for you. This is just... Damn it, Pisces, if you fucking fall in love, no. You don't need relationships right now. You're looking good. But you don't, you don't need relationships or partnerships right now. Because someone is an opportunist. This is a karmic cycle you've been down. So some of you have done this before. Yeah, someone around you is guarded as fuck. They know, uh, Pisces, you've disconnected from this energy. So this that's why I don't feel like this is a comeback around energy. But damn, Pisces, they might send someone else in. God, some of you don't, don't, someone's, <sighs> Pisces, y'all get off the dating apps, quit, quit doing, some of you could be dealing with a catfish situation here, you need to be street smart, you need to make sure you're street smart, Pisces, seriously, watch your family planning, watch your family planning. You're a catch to somebody, Pisces, but it, it just bring you bullshit and heartache. Someone does not need to be sitting at your table. So just be mindful of catfish energy. I don't feel like it's old energy, but it's kind of like the same gameplay. It's a, it's a gameplay is all it is, Pisces. Especially if your life is going good. You've got new opportunities. Some of you, you you've got like a pay raise. You're definitely, uh, you got good opportunity around you. This, this would be like a, the lottery winner. And then next thing you know, they have some little cute little thing on their shoulder. And they're rushing off to get married. Oh, it's love. No, it's not. You got something good around you. But you also got the opportunist. Some of you, now is not the time for romantic relationships and partnerships. Definitely be mindful of the catfishing energy. Uh, Pisces, this is this is something you've been you've been down this road before. This is when the going gets good and everyone shows the fuck up, and then you go, oh look, they love me, and it's this, it's that, it's this and that. But in reality, it's really not, because it always falls the fuck apart. You need to be stingy with yourself, your time, and uh, what the hell you have to offer. This is emotional manipulation. You're showing up, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's for a good reason. The opportunist show the fuck up. Yeah, you need to set the fuck down on a situation. You need to be unavailable. You just need to be unavailable right now. Uh, Pisces. So if you're feeling some stagnation, trust it. Some of you could seriously not even be interested in uh, relationships or partnerships or even uh, the physicality around relationships or partnerships. So someone comes in a little too hot and heavy. Uh-uh. You need to step this one out. Listen to the voice of reason and you're that voice of reason because this is something that you always do. Uh, you fall too quick, and then it, it all goes to shit. It's an opportunist energy, Pisces. You've been in this energy a while, Pisces, but you know the beautiful thing about this, which is why you don't need to focus on this negative, is because you're the one that's in a good energy. You're the one that's showing up. You're the one that is looking good here. You just got to be mindful of, for some of you... Uh, if you fucking fall in love, you don't need to be doing any of that right now. You're like the opportunist, uh, perfect person 
it's, this is a singular energy. Some of you don't even need to be focusing on relationships or partnerships. Some of you probably don't even give two fucks for relationships or partnerships right now, to be quite honest with you. So if someone's tried to come in, you've blocked them. Enjoy being single. Some of you, uh, be single. I don't even think you should be dating for a lot of you. Just go out and have fun. You could be taking some single little trips, vacations. Just spending money on you. This doesn't feel like comeback around energy, uh, Pisces. But it, it is like a karmic situation. So this is like a cycle that you always do. Don't You don't have to accept every offer, Pisces. Uh, don't be so thirsty for attention or relationships that you just basically get yourself caught up in that heartbroken energy again. Because you are the one showing the fuck up. You're the catch. You're the opportunity. But the opportunists are going to show up. This is going to ring different for a lot of you, but this is like the same karmic cycle that you always do. You fall too fast, you fall too quick, you start paying motherfuckers bills and you barely know them. Um, you don't... Spend some of that time and money on yourself. Someone knows. So, Pisces... <laughs> Uh, I don't think that you are really even giving two fucks about relationships or partnerships. But someone is trying to get in there. So keep your communications blocked. Whoever you blocked out of your life, keep that up. Some of you have gotten off your social medias. It's uh, you're not you're not even interested. Because damn it, Pisces, enjoy the good opportunity. Trust your gut, your guidance, and your intuition. It's, it's a karmic energy. So some of you, this is... If you fall too quick and fall too fast, and the next thing you know, you're paying someone else's fucking bills, you don't need that shit. You're the opportunity. You're the... You, you control this. So this is all that sort of energy. You control this. Those of you, if you're in management, be mindful of who the fuck comes towards you, okay? You need to be thinking smart. Some of you need to be thinking single, okay? Single, single, single. You know you. This is karmic energy. So what, what, how, do you, how do relationships normally go for you? If you have a lot of failed ones, what's the failure? What, what causes that? Moving too fast, moving too quick. Be single. Buy your own damn shit. Buy you some f fucking cool shit. It feels like you're in the uh, energy now where you can afford to sort of upgrade. Put that money towards you instead of somebody else. Peace, love, and light, Pisces.